morning, everyone. Oh my gosh, it is silly o'clock in the morning. We have just parked at the airport and we're headed to Hawaii. <laughs> This last time I was on here, we were still in Atlanta and it was the middle of the night. <laughs> now it's 8.52 Chicago time. We have a layover here just for about 45 minutes, well, maybe an hour total because our flight is 20 minutes delayed to wait for some people who have connectors. And then we will go from Chicago to Maui. It's really exciting. landed in Hawaii. We're in our rental car now, driving to our hotel. We're staying at the Ritz-Carlton Kapalua. It's about a 45 minute drive from the airport to the hotel. So we'll see some pretty sights hopefully on the, on the way there. We're both super tired and hungry. We were talking on the plane as we were landing, how we slept. We flew from Atlanta to Chicago and that flight I slept pretty much the whole time. It was about a two hour flight and then Chicago to Hawaii it was about an eight hour plus and I think I slept off and on for five hours I had Yellowstone playing while I was asleep in my ear the whole time just because I needed the noise I watched Priscilla the new like Elvis movie and then I watched a quiet place because I never seen it before anyway I could not figure out how to get the car play to work so I'm having to navigate from my phone and yeah it should be uh, an interesting drive. We made it! You've arrived at your destination. Brandon. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we got laid. <laughs> oh, Brandon, look. Did you know this? I had no idea. I'm so shocked. Are you being. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> what is it? Look. Yeah. Nice, okay, our wedding picture. And this was Thanksgiving. <laughs> Super cute. So they said they upgraded our room, so we have like a kitchen now. So this is our room, very cute. And it opens up to this beautiful view off of our balcony, we'll go out there in a minute. And then let's go look in the bedroom. Oh, we can sit out here in the morning, Brandon. So here is it from this direction because the light. This, whew, I'm looking a little worse for wear after that all day travel day, but feeling really good. Okay, let's see. Shower. I think this is toilet and tub. That's a deep tub, nice. Oh, closet, okay. Nice and big. We'll be able to fit everything in there. Are you out here? Wow, so stunning. This is called Guava Me This. It's just a refreshing drink. And I don't plan on having any alcohol while I'm here this week. They recommended that we get the smash burger and we're both starving after those long flights. So we got the same food <laughs> and calamari, which is pretty much gone now. We decided to come back to the room, probably change our clothes, unpack, and then we're gonna go off and explore the grounds a little bit. We have a spa appointment in the morning, so we wanna see where the spa is so that we know where we're going and just get our bearings. We were talking about maybe doing some zip lining tomorrow or something, so we'll see. Can you believe? I packed six mm -hmm. pairs of shoes, it's five pairs here, and I'm wearing a pair right now. Plus these dresses and all of these clothes in a carry-on only. I feel so proud of myself. Brandon checked his bag. I was a little paranoid to check a bag since we had a layover. I can't tell you the last time either of us took like a layover flight to get somewhere, but it just makes me so nervous to not have potential access to my bags when I'm vacationing. So yeah, it all worked out though. Brandon's bag came. We made it down to the beach and look at that over there. It's a whole family having a photo shoot on the beach. How cute. Imagine having that big of a family that you could all get together like that. How nice. I wanted to go walk in the sand, but somebody didn't change their shoes. 
expedition. Also, what do you say? We're on an expedition. Oh yeah. We also did a little shopping in the signature store. I can show you what we got when we get back to the room. This is just a couple of things from Margo. We just happened to see them while we were there. I love all these plants. The colors are so pretty. Safe and dry. What did they say about the rain? It can just kind of come on whenever. It's kind of like Georgia. Okay, so this is what I bought Margot. She's obsessed with mermaids right now, so I think she'll love this. And this was initially what I had grabbed for her for when we go to the beach next month, but I knew she wouldn't be as excited about a bathing suit when they have like toys and she's very much in her stuffed animal era. I can't resist blue and white. I thought it was cute. And at some point we'll grab some stuff for Sebastian too once we find it. Good morning, everyone. Oh, it is. 6.48 in the morning. I have been up since 2 a.m. Hawaii time, so there's that. I'm still on East Coast time, so I don't know. I'll, I'll be very sleepy by this afternoon, but um, I'm just really excited to be here and see what the day brings us. We're going to a place called, what are you doing? <laughs> Ulani, Ulana? Ulana. For breakfast. I'm ravenous this trip. We haven't had a lot of food since getting that whole flight, that 11 hour flight, and then um, going to sleep early, so I'm really like, excited to eat. I feel like I, I keep talking about food, but we're, I've just been hungry since we've gotten here. But anyway, I'm gonna go inside because um, the wind is so blustery. I don't know if you can even hear me. There's no full length mirror in our room, so I figured I would just do the OOTD in this mirror. So I'm just wearing a blue chambray top over a little white crop top and some white linen shorts. And then my Hayden's from Steve Madden. I don't know what I have on. Well, have, you look I, great. I, 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 Henley then, from Banana Republic, Abercrombie shorts. And then my chain. Oh, he's obsessed with this. They gave the men these, and I got the flowers when we got here, the lay, and he won't take it off. <laughs> <laughs> so this is our outfits for just daytime before we head to the day spa. Just leaving the club lounge, we stopped in there for a minute just to see what their <coughs> breakfast options were. We wanted to see if they offered anything different from the restaurant we just ate at. It's pretty much all the same stuff, but they did have this, some like fresh juices and things like that. And this is delicious. It's called Sunny Citrus, carrot, apple, pineapple, turmeric, lemon, and ginger. <coughs> now we're headed to the spa, we're early, but we're just gonna see if we can go in like their wellness room and relax for an hour. I don't remember the last time I was on my camera, but after the spa, we went back to our hotel room and I wanted to take a shower because I was so oily to the point that like I didn't feel comfortable in my clothes until I washed that off. And then we walked downstairs to the concierge office and booked a zip lining excursion, but you have to do it ahead of time so we won't be able to go until Thursday and today is only Tuesday, but that'll be really fun. I'm excited to do that because I'm not really adventurous. Like when I vacation, I like to be sitting on the beach or by the pool. So that'll be like a fun thing to get out and do. We were hoping we could go zip lining today, but since you do have to book it out, we decided to come down to the beach. They have like this seating area with a ton of like covered chairs like this. And the guy kind of told us like, you can get the chair that we're in or the set behind us. Like there's a few behind us that they can roll down to the beach. However, the wind is so bad. They're like, we would feel bad if we, you guys paid to put your chairs down on the beach only for you to want to come back up and have to repay to get one of these chairs to sit up here because the sand is like blasting families. And then you can rent like beach chairs, like actual like folding lawn chairs, but the wind, like people are getting hit so bad that it's, it makes it not worth it. Whereas getting these chairs, even though they cost the most of like the three options, you get access to the Burger Shack, which is right here, which everyone that I had talked to and all the recommendations said to come to. They also have a bar and like other things and they'll serve us directly in our seats. So this is what it looks like. And we are just sitting here and we get to look at the view and we don't have to worry about being, you know, hit with too much, um, wind and sand because we're covered underneath our little umbrella and maybe now i can take a nap because i am getting sleepy since i woke up at two o'clock this morning <laughs> i'm still on east coast time so um i forgot a book but i have my audible account 
already in set up so I think I'll just listen to some books and maybe do some of the I'm doing the Bible in a year and I'm behind because we've been traveling and just a couple days I get behind every weekend and I have to like make up for it during the week so um, I might do that while I'm out here and yeah I'm just enjoying the day Perfect, thank you so much. Thank you. I got a poke bowl. I wanted to get something light since we're going to the luau later tonight and I think it's a buffet style so I didn't want to eat too much. And then I got another order of calamari because last night's was so good. And then Brandon got a burger and some fruit. That looks delicious. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what do you hear? There's wildlife everywhere here. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just here to update. We have been out here only two and a half hours. It feels like so much longer. Maybe three. Brandon says we've been out here for about three hours. We are now on our third caught in the rain situation. Like, if you can hear it. So in here you can, you can pull your tarp down further. So we did, oh, it's coming through the side, Brandon. <laughs> I'm getting so wet. <laughs> But because when we pulled it down further in the front here, it opened the back. So I stuck the umbrella out the back, which thank God I brought the umbrella. I knew we were gonna get caught in the rain at some point. So I was like, let me just bring the umbrella. I don't care if people think I'm crazy for walking through the hotel and like outside with an umbrella when we're going down to the beach. But like, I hate getting caught in rain. So I'm like, I'm gonna be prepared. All right, we're headed back now to go um, start getting ready for the luau. You want to tell us about your outfit, sir? Warby Parker glasses. Okay. Suit supply, uh, white polo, Banana Republic uh, belt, Banana Republic, long linen pants, and then I uh, have my loafers as well. Couldn't okay. tell you who my loafers are from. Probably Kohan. I'll there you go. You. Huh? I said, well, there you go. There you go. My dress. <clears throat> is Abercrombie? Maybe Mango? I bought it last year and I've only worn it once when we went to 30A. It is Abercrombie. Abercrombie, yeah. I like girls so, that wear Abercrombie and Fitch. Oh, I'll take it if I had one wish. Good job. She's been gone since that summer, since that summer. Mm -hmm. Hip hop mama worth a spick and span. All right. <laughs> so just as we were leaving the room, Brennan runs back in and says, I forgot my phone and then comes back around the corner with this. Today's not even our anniversary, mm -hmm. but I didn't know we were exchanging right now. I have a card that I wanted to give you. <laughs> Why now? This is so exciting. But I don't want to do it in front of people. It won't be in front of people, it'll just be us. Because we all got our seats. What is it? I told you something small. Something very small. Why is the bag so big? Is it a purse? Is it a new purse? I told you it's small, bro. Like you. Then why isn't it a small this gift bag? This is an expensive bag? trip, okay? So it's just a small gift. That's all it is. I promise. It's, it's very so small. exciting. It is not. Yeah, relax. <laughs> I told you, don't get yourself excited. It's very small. It's very. <laughs> Nobody knows if this is a first edition book or anything or whatever. What do you mean? Book. How do you, how did, okay. I can't talk because it's so loud in here, so I'll explain what he got me back in the room later. Oh.
morning, everyone. We're on day three. We are getting ready to head to, I think it's called Molly. And Mala. Mala? Mala. Oh, Mala for breakfast. And then after that, the concierge told us that there's a farmer's market where a lot of like local artisans and people come and sell their things. So we're gonna go ahead and check that out as well. We really think it's important to support the local community here too, especially when they're still trying to rebuild from the Lahaina fires. Last night's luau was amazing. One of the things I was really excited about coming on this trip was getting to experience something different culturally. Oftentimes, like when we're in the States, there's not a lot of culture shift. Like, yes, like we live in the South, so Southern culture is different than like when we go to the West Coast or even up North. But overall, we're all kind of living generally the same lifestyle and like our thoughts on life are very, much the same whereas here nothing's the same they are so much more like appreciative of the land and like their ancestors and the story and it's just really pretty to see like everything is sacred which is which is really cool because we don't really see that a lot at home but anyway i thought i would show you um what brandon surprised me with in that bag i don't i don't know if i've talked about this on here but i'm like obsessed with Martha Stewart. I just like everything about her. I don't care that she went to prison for insider trading. I just, she can do no wrong for me. And so I've been checking out some of her books from the library. I own a couple of her like more newer books, but obviously she has books from before that she put out before she was like Martha Stewart as we know her today. There's this one book, it's her very first book called Entertaining. It's like so hard to come by, it's not in publishing anymore. They are being sold on eBay for like a fortune and they're all used and and battered and you're not guaranteed that you're gonna get a good copy. Somehow Brennan got Martha Stewart entertaining the very first book and it's still sealed in the plastic. He paid a fortune but it will be worth it. I almost cried when I saw it. It is still in the plastic in pristine condition. This is like a prized possession to me and now I'm afraid to open it. So what I think we're gonna do is buy a used copy that I can have and look through and keep to myself even if it might not be is in great of condition and then save this one. And if nothing ever comes of it and they don't end up you know, being worth selling later, then we have two. I can give one to Margo and I can keep one. But this has been like the greatest gift. I didn't want anything like flashy or anything like that. This is really special to me. But anyway, let me finish getting ready and we can head out for the day. What a pretty view to get to see every day when you go to work. Ready? Oh, the fires. So I don't know if you guys can see. I'll try to zoom in but through there and literally in so many places as we drive by you can see where the fires took place that whole area back over there is so sad to see how much devastation there is which is why like we really want to go to the farmers market and try to like just do our part in helping this is mala and i'm excited to try the food i feel like i've said i'm excited about everything I wanted to come under our table. Something you should know about me is I'm terrified of birds, so this is really hard. <laughs> but Brandon's like, they're not gonna mess with you, but I don't like how close they are, because they're not afraid of us at all. <laughs> Brandon got Ahi Eggs Benedict, and then I got a meatball pita. Welcome to Whaler's Village. So we're gonna do a little shopping today. showed was us at the farmer's market and I grabbed this really cute sarong while we were there and I'm wearing it to the pool. Alright, it's a few hours later and it's dinner time. We're on our way to a restaurant called Merriman's. Um, what is the, it's like a fish restaurant? Seafood um, restaurant? I feel like everything is, but yeah. <laughs> anyway, today I'm wearing my, I should probably do this when I get out, but I won't know if I, they might valet and we might have to go right in. I'm wearing my Hill House dress. I'm loving that we're in warmer temperatures because I have not been able to wear any of my summer clothes until now. And I was so happy to be able to put this dress back on because I haven't worn it since last summer. And I'm loving Brandon in pink today. 
Good morning. It is Thursday and I'm dressed for the day. I'm wearing white today in honor of our, oh, it's raining, Brandon. You guys, the rain here is so crazy. There's never any indication that it's raining and then you just look up and it is and then it's over. And we're supposed to go zip lining today and the woman was like, rain or shine, we're still doing it. So I'm like, great, well, it's not until this afternoon, so We're not going till two, yeah, so I'm sure it'll be fine. But it's just wild because we just looked out the window and there was no rain and now the rain is like pulsing back. Anyway, my top is from Abercrombie. It's so cute. I love it. It's a little crop top. Whenever I do crop tops, I always wear like high-waisted because I'm too old to be wearing like low, low rise with crop. Anyway, my shorts are linen shorts from H&M. Have had these for a couple of years now too, and I'm pretty sure they bring them back every year. And then my shoes are my Hermes dupes from Steve Madden, they're called the Haydens. I wear them all the time. I was so happy to finally bust them back out this year to do it. I cannot get over this rain. And Brandon literally just asked if I wanted to walk outside <laughs> to go up to the lobby, which I don't know if I've talked about this, but our floor, our room specifically, is the furthest room from the front desk. I'm not being funny or exaggerating. It literally is the, because we're on the, the edge, of the hotel it, it's literally the furthest room we have to like go down long hallways then take an elevator up and then go down more long hallways to get to to the lobby and in the morning time like now it's not that it's not really not that bad like you get your steps in but it's been hard especially like the night after the luau on tuesday i was so sleepy so sleepy because it was our second day and i was extremely jet lagged trying just to make that walk back to our room after being so tired or even yesterday was hard after having spent like our whole day out at the pool in the sun and then what did we do last night we went to dinner we were so stuffed mm. and then just schlepping it back to the room but one thing i will say is i'm proud of myself because I've been getting my steps in every single day with just this walk alone to the lobby alone. I always aim for at least 10,000 steps, if not more. And before I left, I didn't really think that that would happen because I knew we'd spend a lot of time just sitting like by the pool, by the beach, whatever. But um, yeah, no, this room being far away ended up actually being a blessing because now I get my steps in. Brennan dropped me off in the front so that I didn't have to get wet in the rain, but they sat us in this gorgeous table right in the window. It overlooks the golf course. How gorgeous. There's a bird up there. <laughs> well, that was delicious. I didn't vlog in there because just would have been a little weird. So I just... In regards to your reservation today, uh, due to high winds, we are unable to operate. We're going to fully refund your ticket. They are canceling our zip line. That's so sad. Well, I guess now we go hike that thing over there. But I'm like so bummed. I really wanted to zip line. Thank you. Bye. But hey, just like I want to say, there it is. There is a reason. This no, ain't no I'm, different than, I'm not like upset. <clears throat> yeah, upset. No different upset. than the Bahamas. Remember, we got canceled in the Bahamas. So I'm sure if they had to cancel it today, it's for good reason. Like we don't want to try to, you know, push it and overdo it and end up in a dangerous situation. But I am kind of bummed about that because I don't know. I was looking forward to doing something like you know fun and something we can't do at home. But you know. Safety first. But now that our day is opened up, we can probably just do the trail that's down there. So, I think there's like a whole like walking trail. Yeah, I think so on that yeah, side. I'm down. Cool. I mean, if and I, when I get tired, we can just turn around. Okay. All right, let's do it. They said that the whole thing is like a mile and a half, which isn't bad at all. It is 
dinner time. It is now 6.55, so the day is pretty much ending. Well, we're about to go to dinner. I'm just wearing this cute little dress from Old Navy. I think it's a couple years old. Brandon is wearing a new top that he just got from, I don't know the name of the store, but he got, it's downstairs, but I don't remember the name of it. You don't need sunglasses, it's dark outside. No, mm-mm, don't be a tool. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Anyway, this top, he wanted a Hawaiian top, but one that wasn't overtly Hawaiian, and I like this one. It has little blue fish on it, and because he decided to wear that, I put on this dress, even though this wasn't my planned dress. My hair, I would love to just throw up in a bun, but I think I'm gonna attempt to wear it down. It's done. Like, my hair needs so much love and attention when we get home, but right now we're just pushing through. Anyway, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to vlog Look how dark it is outside. You, it looks a little lighter in the camera out the window, but it's pretty dark for it to be 6.55. Like the sun should be out still, but I'm thinking we're gonna get some, some rain. <laughs> but anyway, all right, let's go to Leilani's. Good morning from our final day in paradise. I have my glasses on, so sorry. I'm just blind as a bat today. We are headed to breakfast. I probably won't vlog that part because we're just gonna go back to Ulano, which is where we went the first breakfast I believe we had here and I showed you guys that already. After breakfast, we'll walk over to the general store, which we didn't know was there until like yesterday. And they have so many different things. So we're gonna go grab some like snacks and things to take on the plane. Um, yeah, let's start the day. It's our final day in paradise. So this is where we would have gone if we ended up zip lining. And then you sign in there, huh? Oh, I didn't see him. And then they take you in these vans and drive you up to some mountaintop. And then you take a three hour zip line tour down. But obviously that didn't happen and we ended up doing the coastal trail, which to me <laughs> ended up being way better. Is that a church? Oh, it is. Cute. How are you today? Good. We're all changed and packed up. We're just taking one last little walk around before we leave. So this was the um, the club lounge where they're cleaning up right now because they just had a, a meal service and they're in between right now. So we just came to get like waters and stuff. I'm in my Aloha uh, sweatshirt that we got the other day. Hair's up in a big bun. I got my leggings on and my sneakers. These are my airplane clothes for the next day. <laughs> Can't believe we have 11 hours worth of plane flight ahead of us. It was worth it though. It, it is worth it. It was totally worth it. All of our bags are packed and we're ready to go. I think I'm gonna end the vlog here though because there's not really much else to to show. Um, spend a little time with him and then we're gonna get going. So thank you guys so much for if you've made it this far for watching the video. We're out of focus. I hope that you enjoyed the Hawaii vlog and I will see you in the next one. Bye!